Hello, I'm the BX Toy Cat, and welcome back to some of my top 10 videos. Today, I want to talk about tipped arrows or potion arrows inside the most recent Minecraft console update. This is because I haven't really done it so far on my channel. Despite them being a really powerful addition to the bow, there are essentially 14 brand new enchantments you can put on your bow in addition to your bow enchantments. And today, I figured I'd teach you which ones are the most powerful because one of these is one that I would have just entirely not realized, like I'd have overlooked it entirely until I went into it, you know, looking for this video. And I realized it's actually one of the more powerful potion arrows you can get. And anyway, with that said, I'm going to be going through the top 10 in this video. Hopefully, you'll enjoy it. Thank you if you do, because it helps out the channel a lot and lets know you do like the top 10 videos. But with that said, let's get straight into it, shall we? And let's start by teaching you how to craft these, just in case you haven't seen it already. Basically, you take the lingering ocean, uh, potions I've already shown off, you take a splash potion, put gunpowder in with a brewing stand, and then you take this lingering potion, like say this water breathing one, and you surround it with regular arrows. This gives you eight of these brand new arrows, so they're kind of hard to come by. If you want to get a full stack, you have to go through eight separate lingering potions, which means that the brewing process gets more important with these. But yeah, let's just assume you've gone through this already. You've got all the potion arrows, and you're just trying to decide which one is most important. And I guess we can start with the 10th uh, most important, which honestly, out of like 14 or 15 different arrows, isn't really too much of a thing. Oh yeah, by the way, just to clarify, this means every potion effect counts as one, rather than like, oh yeah, well, we count water breathing as one, but then water breathing with more effects as two. No, just every single effect as a general one counts as one. But yeah, that's it, let's get straight into the 10th one, which is going to be the water breathing arrow. So the water breathing arrow is a really good one because it's one of those effects that you really don't mind giving to mobs, and uh, you know, like underwater, you're really not going to be able to give 12 flares anyway, so you can basically use these as free, uh, you know, water breathing underneath the water because if I'm like you know if I'm drowning in some water I'm like oh I'm nowhere near some uh, you know some bubble holes I'm nowhere near anything that can uh, save me if you just bring some of these with you you can at last second be like well I'm about to die but good news I've got a minute worth of water breathing if I just hit one up just like that and now suddenly as you can see I can breathe just fine underwater and not only can you breathe fine underwater but you also see things a bit better and like I said uh, even though water uh, average don't work quite so well underwater as I'll show with this one they don't work amazingly but they can still hit stuff and this means that like I said you, you don't have to worry about hitting other mobs with water breathing because pretty much any mob you're going under, you know, down there, which is pretty much Guardians, they can breathe underwater anyway, so giving them the free effect isn't really giving them anything, but it can be the sort of thing that saves you. So yeah, if you're going underwater, you have limited inventory space, maybe you should go for some water breathing arrows, the 10th best uh, tipped arrow in my opinion. But again, like I said, that's almost insulting, but it's not, uh, It's uh, I guess it's a little bit less insulting than the next one here, which is going to be the jump boost arrows. So jump boost arrows are one I entirely understand because arrows are already used to knock yourself over stuff. So if I have a regular arrow, or if we use our water breathing arrow for a second, as you can see, if I try hard enough, I actually can knock myself over this fence. It's a little bit tricky, but it is possible he's oh, <laughs> or we can hit the cow and uh, let him breathe underwater. But yeah, it is possible. It's just a little bit tricky. But the uh, cool thing about the leaping arrow is you can kind of combine this effect. But if you mess it up too many times, you can just be like, whatever, I'm going to hit myself one of those. And now I can jump right over the fence. And because it's jump boost too, you can jump not only over fences and stuff, but over even more stuff like this. So like I said, if you combine this with the idea of like, oh yeah, wait, is this a, <laughs> it's 11 seconds by the way. If you combine this with also hitting yourself in, in midair with one of these higher jumps, you can go to like ridiculous heights, like two and a half, three three blocks, which is a pretty cool, uh, you know, thing to be able to do just using an arrow, and I think although the practical uses of this in, like, survival and other worlds probably isn't too high, I think it is the sort of thing where you want to at least consider it. So yeah, the, uh, jump boost arrows, they're pretty, uh, you know, they're, they're pretty good, and because, uh, you know, le getting leaping potions is a bit easier, I'd consider having some around just in case that moment comes up, but they are only the ninth best arrow in my opinion, unlike the eighth best, uh, which is actually going to have to be, uh, speed in my opinion. So yeah, the cool thing about these speed arrows is the fact that they're not really meant for you. This is the first one on this list where it's like, oh yeah, the you know, it's not just some niche survival use. This is some really good use if you're in the perfect PvP situation. So let's say me and Mega vs Prime, who by the way is a subscriber, who helped me, so big thank to him. If you're, you know, if you're like uh, with Mega vs Prime and he needs to chase after that cow really badly, let's pretend the cow is just running away from him. If I hit him with a speed arrow, he's going to have 20% speed and be able to go much faster without wasting the time to drink a potion. Because right now, uh, unless you have splash potions, which most people don't, uh, realistically, if you stop to drink the potion, it doesn't really give you the right amount of time. But let's say he's running after something, uh, you know, right now now he's doing that. If I can hit him with a speed arrow from here, I can give him that speed boost that he needs and let him, like, uh, chase towards his targets. Let's say he's uh, running towards me, but, you know, I'm also a teammate. Whatever, you get the point. But I can, I can give him that speed boost, and uh, as long as I'm doing it in the right direction, I can give him the arrow boost he needs, but also give him a little bit of speed, which is really nice. Again, it's it's very, very, very situational, but in the right situation, you can see that amazing moment where, like, oh, I hit my friend with an arrow, and that allowed him to kill someone. And because you can get these in speed, too, uh, I prefer speed uh, one for a minute, because you know, you can also hit yourself and be like, oh, yeah, now I've got a minute of speed. I, I I think that's probably the, the best system. But still, if you want to get speed two for like 11 seconds, you can do that. And you can potentially make the most amazing moments, which I think is pretty great. But they are only the eighth best, which is why I'm going to throw them in lava now. And move on to the seventh best arrow, which is going to be regeneration, which has the pretty much the same effect, but it's a little bit less situational. So let me show you what I mean by that. Let's say, uh, you know, Mega Versus Prime is really, really hurt right now. He's got a lot of damage uh, gone on. I can regenerate all of that using the regeneration arrows. And now he can run off to his own thing. Or let's say he's in the middle of a fight, but I'm like, oh no, which one do I, uh, you know, shoot? 
do I do this or that? Uh, basically, if I just fire really lightly some arrows into there, as you're going to see on myself, actually, if you fire an arrow at yourself, you only do half a... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you only do half a half damage as you're gonna see. Oh, was that the wrong arrow? Uh, but yeah, uh, you, you only do very little damage, but then uh, you know your regeneration lasts a little bit longer. So let me let me show that right now, just a little bit better, hopefully. Okay, just like that. As you can see, you do half a half damage, but you get a lot more going on there too, which is pretty. Uh, you know, it, it's it's a pretty useful little thing. So let's move on to the next uh, uh, next best arrow because you know this is number six regeneration. It's pretty good. Again, it's situational with uh, play, uh, teammates. It can also just about be used on yourself, and I think it's justifiable in that way. But uh, let's move on to the uh, the fifth best arrow in my opinion, which is strength. So, Strength got a really bad nerf in this update. Like, a really, really bad nerf. But, um, it's, it's still, like, just about usable for about, pretty much the same reasons as the other ones. Like, hit your friend with Strength, he's gonna have more stuff. But realistically, it comes down to, go, before you have a fight, because you can get these in one minute variants, before you have any form of fight, just hit yourself with one, do the half half damage, it'll regenerate soon enough if you have good food. Uh, but then for the next whole minute, you've got a plus three, uh, you know, uh, to your uh, Strength, which is a really, really decent amount, especially if you don't have enchanted weapons, or if you're playing, you know, like, uh, when they eventually have to battle or something like that, you've got to think, like, you can take this, uh, you know, this golden sword up to 7 damage, you can take a diamond sword up to, like, 10 damage, and because sharpness is kind of nerfed too, when you add that in, the, the strength nerf is bad, but the fact that you can get it just by firing up at yourself very briefly before a fight, I think that's kind of cool, and it's also great for, you know, having a bunch of friends. I'd say, if you've got a lot of you, it's better just to, you know, get a potion, but still, strength arrows can be really powerful, and even in survival, like, just before you fight the wither or something like that, I can see these being justifiable as just an easier way to store potions. Like, this is essentially a stack of 62 potions, which, by the way, is going in the love right now, because I wanted to talk about the next uh, best po uh, potion arrow in the game, which has to be the fifth best, if I'm not mistaken at counting, uh, which is going to be the slowness arrows. So, yeah, the slowness arrows are uh, these ones right here. Uh, the, the cool thing about slowness is it's a, the reverse of the uh, speed effect, but the cool thing about the fact that it's, like, a negative effect is that one of the few negative effects means that it works on pretty much any situation. Are we in PvP, guess what? I can hit Merc versus Prime. He's not gonna be able to catch up with me. Do I want to hit a mob? Well, they're all gonna go away from me. And the cool thing about having these is if you are at that level in survival where you're just like, yeah, I have all the stuff I need in the world, then you might as well just make some slowness arrows because you hit a creeper with this. Oh, now your life gets easier. You hit a baby zombie. Okay, now he's not gonna chase you so fast. Uh, basically, these work really well in survival as well as in uh, you know PvP. Like uh, you know in PvP, giving someone that 15% slowdown is a really big deal. And given that you can just use these Azure arrows, so let's just say we're having an arrow fight right now. The fact that I can just use these and eventually one will hit him. The moment one does, I can win the, you know, the chase on that, and that's a really cool advantage of being able to spend a lot on slowness potions to get a lot out of, like, you know, just being able to control the engagement in a way that's pretty darn powerful. So, yeah, let's move on to the third, uh, sorry, the fourth, uh, weakest, uh, be best, sorry, fourth best, uh, arrow in, uh, in the Minecraft, and you'll, if you're curious as why I said weakest, it's because it's the weakness arrow. So, yeah, the weakness, uh, potion was the weakest effect in the game before T46. Like, literally, it was minus 0.5 attack damage, so that meant that, you know, your fist would do very slightly less than everything else. You probably wouldn't even notice it on However, they buffed it eight times in this update, and it means the weakness arrow is so absurdly powerful. Let me show you what I mean by that, by attacking Meg versus Prime right now. Now he's got a weakness effect on him, and he's going to use a wooden sword me, right? So look at this damage he's doing with his wooden sword. You know, previously this can kill you in like five hits, just uh, keep doing it, just, 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 you can keep hitting me, it's fine. But uh, basically you can see it's doing a half heart, and that's with a critical hit he's done that too. <laughs> he's just doing a half heart. I have no armor on right now. If I put armor on, I can take that down to literally nothing, and that's a wooden sword. Even if he had a diamond sword, there's still a significant reduction there. The the fact that, you know, you can take pretty solid weapons like that right there, and you can weaken them down to something like, again, like a full half heart is so crazy. And basically, the weakness arrow is just absurd for PvP. Like, the, uh, you know, if, if you have one of these on you, you hit them once, you've basically nerfed their ability to do any combat damage, which means this is the perfect arrow for chase against them. In fact, I'd say, like, the suite of these two arrows together, like, okay, slowness them, now they can't run away, weakness them, now they can't win a, a PvP fight, and it just means it's really, really, you know, not, not, not unfair, but because you've yeah, done the stuff, but it means that it's just uh, the odds of them winning are so absurdly low that basically you can just say, well, good game, and then, you know, brush your hands off and move on to the next uh, one. And in my case, I'm moving on to the next one. I'm going to move on to the third best arrow because it's one better than weakness. Again, one that I just said is that amazing. It's the health arrow. So the health arrow is amazing, not only, again, as the PvP advantage of like, okay, hit someone, give them a full, like, I think it's like six bits of health. You give someone in a, a, a really a decent amount of health with these arrows, but it's not just being uh, great for that. It's also the fact that you can then hit, uh, you know, hostile mobs with these in survival and just have super arrows. So yeah, these are basically harming arrows but for, you know, hostile mobs. So if we take a uh, zombie villager like that, we hit him with an arrow as you can see. Okay, just like that. As you can see one hit kill because uh, instant health uh, has the negative effect on the wither, on uh, zombies and stuff. And if you're going to be fighting the wither get yourself a power 5 bow, get yourself some of these and suddenly you're going to be just melting him in no time because like I said these are like additional effects for your bow and this one is an effect that can help you harm uh, a bunch of mobs and it's the best survival arrow I'd probably say if you're in that kind of market but it's not quite as good as 
as the uh, second uh, best arrow in the game, in my opinion, because we're going to have to talk about the po uh, the arrow of poison here. So the arrow of poison is uh, pretty darn cool because uh, this is poison too. It's only two seconds, but the fact that you can poison someone with your arrow hit is amazing. So again, this is in addition to anything you can put in your bow already. If I hit him with poison right now, as you're going to see, look at the uh, speed of damage on that. Two seconds isn't much. It's only like an extra, you know, two hearts. But the fact that you can, you know, add that extra poison, which by the way, goes right through armor. When you attack someone with poison, you know, there's no uh, regenerating from that. The fact that that happens is so absurd. And you can get 11 seconds off this on your main po uh, poison arrow, which is really, really good just in addition to what you're doing. But like I said, I don't think it's quite as good as the very best arrow in the game. What is the best arrow? You could probably work out already. It's the harming arrow. So the harming arrow or the instant damage arrow is just so, so, so absurd because instant damage, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it's like six. It, it might be three. Okay, no, it's six. <laughs> as you can see right there, that was a, uh, you know, if I fire a normal arrow like that, I'm going to do a full half heart myself. So let me show you right now. Okay, going to do half heart and then I regenerate a bunch. But uh, the, this does six, uh, you know, hearts of damage in addition to what the arrow itself does. And the crazy thing about the instant damage arrow is the fact that, uh, okay, so let me show what I mean by hit, uh, this. I'm going to hit him twice and he's probably going to die with, with even the weakest of arrows. As you can see, dead and there's no death message. But still, he's dead with just two arrows because, and that's with uh, very weak stuff, because it does that six hearts. And bear in mind, this will work on anyone whether they have armor or not, because instant damage is a magic effect. Uh, you know, it would pro if, if we could see his death message, it would say, like, Mega Versus Prime was killed by you know, magic, because that is a magic effect, which means it goes right through armor. The fact, uh, you know, six hearts of unconditional damage is so absurd, and there's a reason these are never going to shop in PvP, uh, you know, in the battle mode, I should say, because they are just that good. I don't know where he is, I think I have to teleport him to me, so let's uh, let's do that right now. Let's let him do the same to me, just to show you what this happens. He's going to do a really weak arrow, and oh, look at that, halfway down, and now I'm just done. Already over in two hits, uh, just like that, and in fact, let me let me uh, make this happen again, uh, so... <laughs> oh, I, I guess he spawned up here and he couldn't get down. But uh, <laughs> uh, let, let me put on some armor just to kind of show this one because it is really, really crazy how that works. Let's put on some, uh, you know, like, let's let's put some leggings and something like that. Uh, and now we're going to hail ourselves one of these arrows. And as you're going to see, it goes right through even diamond armor. And so, uh, yeah, instant damage. So absurd for that. Also absurd for mobs, you know, same thing. Okay, not for zombies, but if we take, like, a pig or something or, like, you know, any uh, non-undead mob, they're going to die in the same amount of stuff. Like, let's hit those uh, let's hit those cows over there, for instance. Okay, let's let's do this. Okay, wait. <laughs> you get. I'm, I'm sure you can all realize that cows will die in one hit. This is. Uh, they're basically it's the most powerful arrow in the game by such a large amount that I don't get how they're even fair. Like I said, you combine this with a power five bow and you're one hitting pretty much everyone in the game. And uh, if that's a thing that sounds fun to you, then uh, the the potion, the, the arrow of harming. Pretty darn good as it turns out. So, yeah, I hope you did all enjoy this video. One more thank you to Mega vs. Prime for coming and helping me out and uh, riding the villagers to safety, apparently. Uh, like it if you did like it, because it helps out the channel a lot. And let's know you do like the, uh, again, the top 10 videos. Share them if you liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here, because I make videos like this one every single day on my channel, and if subscribed, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Thank you all very much for watching uh, this uh, video. <laughs> um, and uh, I guess I will see you all next time. Goodbye.